to start my live stream and now I need to make sure that I'm even in focus. This is what happens when you do it all yourself. My name's Nicole with so much more and today I'm going to be talking about quiet books, which is, I made one already. I, I made this last year and we're going to talk about this in just a second, but I'm going to make sure that all the technology works. So let me go into <clears throat> the YouTube app and just double check everything here. I hope you guys are having a great day. All right. I think, I think it'll work. All right. So today we're going to be talking about um, the quiet book that I made. I made a quiet book for the holidays. My great nephew is two years old and over the course of last year, I made a quiet book for him. And so what happened is that every month I received a kit, a pre-cut, ready to go, super easy kit from my friend Kaylin at the Quiet Book Queen. And she is super smart when it comes to screen-free activities for kiddos. She is a brainiac for that. She has a whole blog and writes articles. She's written like four books. Anyway, and she's crafty. And so she makes these kits, and from these kits, I was able to create a super fun, quiet book for my great nephew. So I wanted to just show you about the quiet book, and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about how uh, Kaylin's The Quiet Book Queen program works. Because I think that once you see all this, you're really going to want to make something like this for the, the kiddo in your life, for sure. So. Um, this is the cover, this is the back, the cover, the entire cover, all the hardware, everything that you need is included in Kaylin's kits. So let's look at, and it's a monthly, it's like a calendar kit, right? And so the, the idea is that, oops, I didn't put all those snowman guys away. There's a pocket. <laughs> There's a pocket these guys go into. Um, and so she, she sends out kits several times a year. For the, for the entire year so that you can make these. And really there's not a lot of sewing to do. There's a little bit of sewing and then there's some ironing and maybe some snap fastening, really minimal. But she has videos and written instructions for everything. So don't stress out. This is the January page. And so she has all of these little cute felt pieces pre-cut, right? Let me, I don't think you can see the full page. Let me, let me pan this down just a little bit so that you can see the whole page. I need a production assistant, don't I? I'm gonna move us down just a hair so that you can see the entire page, not just the top of it. Okay, I hope that's better. It should be. All right, so like I was saying, the January kit comes with these pre-cut felt pieces. Just making sure that the the view is good. Okay, so pre-cut felt pieces, and she she has all of them already cut, which is so nice. You don't have to go into the store and buy all the felt pieces and cut them out with a template or anything like that. They're all cut, ready, and shipped to you with written instructions. So this is the January kit, and you have options for the snowman. This is a snowman. You see it has just regular face, and then she made uh, a face with some eyelashes so you can have a snow woman. It's so cute. And different hats. And um, there's like a bow for the girl or the, the guy can wear a bow tie. There's arms. There's mittens. And so this is going to encourage um, some imaginative play, right? So maybe you're at the doctor's office and you, you know, you got a fidgety little kiddo. This is a great activity to take in the car, to appointments, you know, maybe sitting in church. Just a great way to keep the kiddo entertained while also using their imagination. Like, you know, you, it's easy to hand them a phone, but you never know what's going to happen with that. So, um, yeah, this is, this is January's kit. Super cute. And so every month she sends you a kit and you can make it. So in this one, she has already, I think she has a Cricut or something like that. 
where she um, spells out January and then you can press it on. She gives you all the instructions. She also gives you the um, like the little uh, little face uh, vinyls that you iron on. They're super cute. So that's January. And then February, let me open this up. February is like an I spy. And so this is like the little key card and there are like little silicone tablets in here and a piece of vinyl and all of these little treasures are inside of this. And so they, with their finger, they move the silicone beans around and they find all of the little pieces. And so this is a really fun thing for the February page. March is a really good page for um, rainbow order or just knowing your colors. And so the rainbow can be tucked into the pocket and then each color kind of, it, it kind of gives them an order. So the red, let's see if I can do this the right direction. Yeah, so from the pot of gold to the cloud, the red is a really big piece of felt. The orange fits on top of it. And so, you know, they start talking about, you can talk about Roy G. Biv, can you name the colors of the rainbow? What color is this? Just a really great way to engage your kiddo and teach them colors at the same time. Maybe rainbow order. And then your little goodies fit inside of the pocket so you can keep all your pieces and parts together. Now April, wow, I was really impressed with April. April is um, Easter eggs, right? But all of the bottoms, and these are pre-cut, so don't freak out, right? Like I said, she pre-cuts everything. So when you get it, you get the, the base pages, and then you get all the little pre-cut uh, eggs, and then you get like this pre-cut thing here. All of these things are pre-cut. This word April is an iron-on she provides. It's so convenient and manageable, right? You only have to do it like once a month. But what's cool about this page is that all of the bottom parts of the eggs are the capital letters. So it goes through the whole alphabet here. And then in the pocket are the tops of the eggs. And it's probably hard to see. Like there's the lowercase w. And so it fits right onto the uppercase w. And here is the lowercase g. And it fits on the uppercase g. And so this is just a great activity to talk about learning your letters. Not only the letters themselves, but you can sound out the sounds, you can talk about capital letters and lowercase letters. Really a great page. And so this is the April page. Let's see, we have May. When I, when I made this, I'm like, what a fun teapot, right? And then, you know, that song, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. So you can sing that song and, you know, do the activities and the actions with it. And then you can even assemble the teapot. There's magnets that you can sew in. And I wasn't sure <laughs> about how that would work, but it's actually pretty simple. And, and she has videos with every single page kit that you, that you receive. And she tells you exactly how to do it in the video. So you can watch the videos if you like to learn the video, or she sends you the written um, instructions on paper. Both are available. Now June is super cute. June is working with magnets again, and this activity is about counting. So each fish, and it's easier if it's kind of like on your lap because this felt tends to like not slip down. I'm, I'm holding it up, so that's kind of why that fell. But this, um, each fish, there's, I think there's five in their little fish pouch here. So each one has numbers on them. See, this one says three, this one says four. And so <laughs> this little bobber, on the end, super cute, has a magnet inside, and inside the fishes are magnets, and so you can go fishing, you know, can you catch me the number two fish? Can you catch me, you know, do them in order? Then, you know, you can just learn counting and learn numbers. It goes all the way up to five on this one. So that is just a really fun one. And so this, this whole kit will go throughout the entire year. So July is a puzzle, you know, and again, these are all pre-cut, so that was really easy to put together. This is a iron-on right here, so that was fun. This is August, perfect time for back to school. Maybe the younger one is watching their older sibling go back to school so they can pretend like they're going to get on the bus. These little guys, they're little finger pu puppets. You can, you know, pretend play, imaginative play, and I'm, I'm uh, 
what is the wheels on the bus go around? You know, you can do all sorts of fun. There's little words that says, the bus says beep, 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 you know. So those are fun. September is really good because you can put a zipper in, right, inside of the zipper. You can go on an acorn scavenger hunt. There's a, a loose acorn in this where you can give it to the squirrel. And then her activity book suggests, or her instructions suggest that you put these acorns around and hide them. So the activity is finding the hidden acorns. And so they're underneath these leaves, underneath these leaves. Just a really cute activity for September. And October, this little guy is waiting for you to dress him up as a trick-or-treater. These are so cute. And again, they're pre-cut. So, so much thought went into these. This is, you know, if you want to be a superhero, so cute. <laughs> Look at this little outfit. She cut all of that stuff out and you just have to, you know, she says you can use hot glue if you want to, which would be easy. I sewed them because I didn't know where my hot glue gun was, but you know, you can do all sorts of things like that. You can be a superhero. Uh, she has a ghost. You can be, these are just adorable. This one was amazing. And it, this has like all these little iron, iron on pieces. Look at that astronaut. Isn't that cute? She really went all out on October where you can just dress up. This one is cute. You can be a banana. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So, and that was fun to, to receive and put together. And she, um, you know, she included the iron-ons like the October, the smiley face, really fun. I think the kiddos are gonna love these pages right here. This one is fun. This is a carry, a continuation of Halloween. This is a really big spider finger puppet. I've got some Velcro. She includes the Velcro. You don't have to buy extra supplies. She included the Rick Rack for the spider. You know, you can put the Velcro on the back. And then this piece of webbing lace, you know, just goes right on the top. And she, such great thought and detail on everything. This one is super cool. Now, if you don't have a snap setter, I have a snap setter, but you don't have a snap setter. She gives you an alternative way to put this together just by placing the feathers on top. But this is a great color activity, and it's in Roy G. Bibb order if that's the way you want to put it together. These snaps, I'm doing this backwards and to the side. So let me give myself some stability on the back here. Okay. So all of these, and she gives you the color-coded snaps too, if you want a snap setter. She gives you links to Amazon if you want to buy a snap setter, but you don't have to. You could just sew a base orange leaf on here and then the other side of the leaf would have it to just be put on top. So you're like, put the orange feather on top of the orange feather or put the purple snap uh, on, you know, so if you do the snaps, then it teaches them how to snap, but otherwise it's just a matching game with the numbers. And so you're making a really fun, a really cute turkey that spells out the word thanks if you, you know, put them in the, the color order that the snaps suggest. So that is a really fun one right there. Now well, let's see. So this one is, you know, getting ready for Thanksgiving. So it's an apple pie and this is, um, teaches some weaving. So that's really fun to do. Um, maybe they can play with this while you're making the pies for the holiday. There's also a birthday page, which is so great because, you know, every, we have every month, but sometime during the year, the birthday happens. So if you want to put it in this order, you can. My nephew's birthday is like, what is it? I feel like it's right before Christmas. You know, like he's one of those kids that kind of gets gypped because his birthday is right around the holidays. But I think it's like the week before Christmas. And so I put his birthday page towards the end. If uh, and, But you can move these things around. You can add pages. She has all sorts of other things if you want to put filler pages in. But she gives you these big rings and then these grommets. I use bigger ones because I have a grommet setter, but she, she gives you all the instructions on how to set this up. And uh, the birthday one is super cute. It has different bases that you can use. And then you can put a little different frosting. She has different colors, like you can have vanilla frosting. And then she also includes up to five candles. And this is a really great thing for the kids to do if they want to practice blowing out the candles, if they want to sing the happy birthday song, these are really fun to play with, especially for a birthday page. So let me put those back in their little birthday pack packet. Again, she, she gives you the stickers, super cute. Now I'm going to link this, um, and when I'm done with our live, 
I'll link this in the description so that you can go check out how to get one of these yourself. She's even given us a coupon code, which is so much more 50 to get 50% off your first month. And each month is $28, which includes shipping, which is a great, great deal considering all of the things that she's giving you and that she pre-cuts everything. Uh, this is a great page um, as a continuation of the birthday. This is, you know, the birthday balloons, but for this activity, you're gonna be matching up shapes and colors, right? So can you put the blue square or the green circle? You know, these are really good to learn shapes and colors. So that's a fun activity, educational, and they'll really enjoy that. This little gingerbread house is a really cute page. I enjoy putting this together. There's so, like I said, so many details go into her pages. She pre-cuts every single one of these pieces, like the snow on the roof and the little gumdrops and the little steps. And inside is this cute little finger puppet. And of course, this is for little fingers, but it fits on, on here. But look at the little details. She's even giving you like little iron-ons so that you can make it like a gingerbread guy, right? It's so cute. So just think of the imaginative play that can happen with a page like this. Let me put this little guy back in his little gingerbread house and close the door. Super fun. And then the last page is the December Christmas tree where you have Christmas presents, you can decorate the tree with ornaments, you can put the star. So just something that you might be doing in your home and then they can play with on their own too. And there is a nice pocket back here. And this is probably one of my most favorite parts right here is this back. So she asked me what I wanted it to say. And so she made this special. It says by made with love by great aunt Nicole. That's me. It's my great nephew. So that was really fun to put together. And like I said, I'm going to link in the description of the video. See, she's even given us like the little things for the front. So thoughtful. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description of the video where you can start making these every month. So maybe for your special someone that you can gift this to them by the end of the year. And you can actually start at any time, but she ships that next month, like in the previous month. So I think the deadline to start in for January is to order in January and then she'll ship these out in February. And as, as far as like the deadlines to make it to start in January for the month, I think you need to order by the 20, I'm looking at the calendar. Today, January 26th. I think that's right, next Thursday. But, um, but you can start anytime. So if you are watching this after, like for those that don't catch the live, if you watch this afterwards, you can always order later. But um, I ordered so that I could start in January and by the time Christmas came around, I had the book all ready to gift on Christmas day. It was really, really special. And then I did want to mention the quilt behind me. So this is my turntables quilt. I released this pattern in July and I still love it. I have a friend that's making this in a different colorway and I see lots of examples posted on social media with this pattern and it is so fun. It's called the turntables. It's a throw size. And so you can either get the paper pattern ordered from my shop or in different fabric stores around the country or you can just get the PDF, whichever you prefer. So I'll link that in the description of this video as well. Now I don't see any comments in the chat so if you have any questions, put the comments below and um, I hope that you guys decide to start this activity book and um, there is a 50% off coupon for the first month. Remember the coupon code is so much more 50 and that'll give you half off the first month. And then after that, it's $28 a month and includes shipping. All of the pre-cut items are included. You get the video tutorials, you get written instructions. It is so much fun. I had so much fun making this last year that I'm gonna do it again this year. So I've got my order in for the January kit. So if you do that now, you'll get the January kit in February. And so um, I'll be doing that again this year because I have another special someone that I wanna get it to. So that's all I have for today. Bye for now.